Hey, what's up, family? So we just concluded phase three of access and peace within you. Um, so we are now walking into remaining in your place of peace. And this is very important because Jesus gave his disciples peace. He said, in this world, you will have trouble. Take heart because I have overcome the world. So as we know, we have different troubles in this world. I've been through it. I've covered a couple of them. But we've all experienced it, right? And the most important thing is to be able to have a place within us where, where it's calm, where it's, it's not chaotic, where it's our secret place, a hiding place when things are going crazy around us. And that's our place of peace. So this week, we are going to cover cover a few things pertaining to remaining in our place of peace, operating in our place of peace. Because once we know we have, first of all, full access, once we know that this access is available to us, whenever and wherever and once we get used to it once we experience it once we rest in it then it'll be a place that we long for looking forward to when we are in that chaotic workplace when we are in a relationship where it's it's rumbling the Bronx not physically, hopefully not physically. When it's just so much going on around us and we're like like all over the place. Emotions going this way, our our uh ment our mental is going that way, like we just really spread thin and and once we get a taste of this this piece that I'm speaking about, it's like you know what? just me right here we're protected with everything we're covered and shielded from any and everything and we'll also walk in it so when life is happening to us we'll have a place that we can fall back in and still be protected and still be covered and still be calm and that'll be a, a high level of peace where it's like the world try to steal my joy the world try to steal my happiness i.e. the devil is trying to try to steal everything from me trying to kill destroy everything that God has given me he could do all of that but he will not take my peace because my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave it to me and that's the peace that, that place of peace that we're going to discuss and review this week. We're coming to a close. We're almost done. But you hang in there and make sure that you are reading the descriptions in each video below. I try to put something um, in there that you can apply every day or give you some type of insight to where it's like, ah, I didn't even think about that. And it's like, that's all you need to tap into that place. All right. So, um, this is the last couple of weeks of it. And I truly hope that you found peace throughout this series. I, I hope that, that you've experienced the peace that Jesus Christ gives us all who have accepted him, who all have placed their faith in him. And I hope that's you. So if that is you, you have that peace. If you have him, you have access to that peace. If you are living in him, rather allowing him to live in you, that peace is with you everywhere you go. All right. So with that being said, I didn't, I didn't drug it out long enough. Stay tuned. Monday, we are in it. See you guys Monday at 6 a.m. Much love. Peace.